Hello everybody, this is Neil Feiler and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 5th and the 14th of March 2021. This is where I talk about the celestial soup we're all swimming in, all zodiac signs. So, just want to mention I still have 30% off on everything. It's going to go away soon, so utilize it. Friday the 5th, we have the conjunction of Mercury, planet of communication and commerce with Jupiter, the enlarger, the great benefic, the bringer of higher knowledge. This is a great day for epiphanies. It's a great day for writing and planning and speaking and verbalizing yourself and just expanding your views, expanding your knowledge, expanding your horizons. Lucky day. Saturday the 6th, T-square in the sky between the moon and the sun, <coughs> excuse me, and Neptune. It's a sensitive day. But if we are aware of that sensitivity, if we do not want it to be a perfect day, if we put ourselves in check, we could really enjoy it as the moon sextiles that Jupiter Mercury in the sky. Um, Sunday, the 7th, moon square Chiron, sensitive on the emotional side, but also trining Uranus. Let the new in. Let excitement in. L uh, allow yourself to take yourself where you've never gone before. Monday the 8th, Moon Sextile Venus, Moon Sextile Sun, wonderful day for enjoyment and satisfaction with others. Wonderful day to heighten your inner value and sense of self-esteem. Tuesday the 9th, Moon Conjunct Pluto, Moon Trining Mars, Moon Squaring Uranus. It's a high energy day. We need to be careful not to be compulsive, obsessive, and total with our things. Not to take things to extreme and remain tolerant while actually completing and doing things. While actually walking forward. While actually not uh, uh, relenting and, and staying put. But walking forward with tolerance, with acceptance, and with the common sense on our shoulders. Wednesday the 10th. Moon conjunct Saturn and Jupiter. It could start a bit heavy, but it ends up with a lighter touch. It's a great day to really, you know, make some serious thinking, you know, serious contemplating about where it is I am in this time and space. And just, you know, as a preparation for the new moon as well. You know, the two days before the new moon, the time of the new moon itself. These are imprinting times. Whatever passes within us emotionally, mentally, stays with us through the, next, through the next lunar cycle. So these are great days for cleansing and purifying and focusing, and that would help you through the whole month to come. So Thursday, the 11th, Moon conjunct Neptune. This is a time of romance. This is a time of inspiration. This is a time of conversing with the muses and indeed weaving from the magic of the eternal some beautiful art or, or, or you know, just magical substance here in the realm of limited reality. Nevertheless, idealism and romance and, and, and uh, you know, innocence are heightened. We need to keep ourselves in check and make sure we're not a kite with no string, that our feet are on the ground and we're seeing the picture with some realism. Okay? And that's how we're going to get through this the best way possible. It's a great time to enjoy ourselves, but don't lose yourselves out there with idealism and hopes that might cause disappointment later on. Um... So Thursday, Moon, uh, Sun conjunct uh, Neptune, Moon conjunct Mercury, and squaring Mars. On the communication side, watch it. You know, watch it. Don't say too much, and uh, you know we, we could have a short leash and short temper. Um, feel like we're on a short leash or have short temper on Thursday, the 11th. Friday, the 12th, Moon sextile Uranus. Wonderful energies. Be active on that day. Allow yourselves to do new things. Step out of the box. Saturday, 13th of March. New moon in the sky. Conjunct Neptune. Conjunct Venus. Sextile uh, um, Pluto. Wonderful time for romance. Wonderful time for uh, communication within relationships that could bring us closer together in unity. It's a great time also in that sense uh, with my relationship with myself, with money, with value in my life. But we do have to watch 
the borders, you know, not being limitless, not being too idealistic, not losing sight of reality, as I said before, and not being too lethargic, not utilizing this kind of energy to run away from what it is you really need to deal with and beautify the picture in front of our eyes, neglecting to see something that is there. Because Neptune is also illusions, okay? So, uh, but a wonderful time to enjoy ourselves, a wonderful time for inner spiritual transformation, wonderful time for art and inspiration. Fr uh, Sunday, the 14th, Venus conjunct Neptune, everything I've said applies. Moon, sextile Mars, high energy day, moon, sextile Saturn, great for career stuff. You know, here in Israel we work Sunday, so it's good for me. But uh, um, you could do some work on your weekend if you want. Or visit the elderly, you know, it's a good day to be with older folks as well. That's about everything I had to say. I want to thank you for listening and sharing these. To expose these videos to more people. This is Nia Fire. Wishing us all, may we all, all, all of us live long and prosper. Amen.